Thanks so much for tuning in here for a look at your Northwest Regional Forecast. I'm your oldest Joe Hansel as we're still watching for a possibility of some scattered rainy rumblers as we get rid of a cold front today. Nothing strong or severe, but definitely enough you may have to grab the umbrella at times throughout this afternoon. Uh, heat though still building as we're finishing out the rest of the work week here. A lot of 80s and 90s still in that forecast across the region the next couple of days or so. But long term, looking at the crystal ball and the weather models, it does look dry as a ridge of high pressure builds in for the 4th of July, but it could be a little bit of a warm and toasty holiday for a lot of us heading into next week. Now Wednesday, a lot of us uh, rewrote the record books in terms of rainfall. Yellowstone got a 0.38 inches of rain. Gray Bull 3 one hundredths of an inch. Yeah, that was enough to tie a, tie a record for you out there in northwest Wyoming. And heading into Idaho, Stanley, Idaho got just uh, over two-tenths of an inch of rain to rewrite the record books there. But this afternoon, still a lake wind advisory. Some of those wind high wind prone areas in northeast Montana for big sky country. Be mindful that a uh, might rock the boats a little bit if you're heading that boat out on the lake this afternoon. A severe weather threat today, marginal risk for cities like Casper, areas of central eastern Wyoming. Heading south to Denver, watching for that threat of damaging winds and hail, along with some locally heavy rain out there. But we'll still have a ridge of high pressure building in for much of the west. Uh, east of that ridge, that's where that cold front will scoot on through with that possibility of some scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially for states like Wyoming. Casper have to be on the lookout for that possibility of showers and storms. High near 70 for you today, Reading near 100.